It's a bill limiting how long both migrants and homeless can stay in emergency shelters in Massachusetts. It is now awaiting possible action in the Senate after it passed in the House of Representatives yesterday. Western Mass News reporter Reagan Lokri joins us live in studio after getting answers from the, on both, those on both sides of this legislation. Reagan? Yeah, Abby and Chris, one state senator says it's a tough decision with the rising cost of living, but it's one that needs to be made to combat the migrant crisis in Massachusetts. While the CEO of Family Resource Center tells me he worries about the impact this bill, if enacted into law, could have on those with nowhere else to go. It isn't fair for these people to stay there for as long as they want. A bill that would limit how long homeless people can stay in emergency state shelters was approved by the House of Representatives Wednesday as the system strains under an influx of migrants seeking refuge in the Commonwealth. The bill passed on a 121 to 33 vote and now heads to the Senate. Under the bill, the state would limit the maximum stay to nine months with an additional three months for those who are employed or enrolled in a job training program. However, House Speaker Ronald Mariano says if they are pregnant, have a disability, or are in job training, they could stay up to 12 months. Hopefully, with the, with the training that they will avail themselves of in the, to earn the extra three months, they may be able to get a job. Meanwhile, Jewish Family Services of Western Massachusetts CEO James Green tells Western Mass News he does not believe this legislation will push people to get into the workforce any sooner. It's not as though anyone is um, simply waiting around for the future to unfold, right? People are actively doing that work. Um, I think that there are there are lots of structural challenges in place that um, that I think that I think complicate that. The bill also includes an additional $245 million in state funding to cover the ongoing cost of providing emergency housing to migrants. The office of State Senator John Velas tells Western Mass News in a statement that reads in part, quote, with the federal government completely abdicating their responsibility, we are now stuck having these conversations about the sustainability and rising costs of a program that was simply never meant to handle something like this. These are difficult decisions, but ones that must be made as costs continue to grow. Green tells us they believe limiting the amount of time someone can stay in a shelter doesn't solve the underlying issues, such as delays in getting employment authorization documents, long wait lists for English language learning classes, and a lack of both child care resources and affordable housing. All we're doing is kicking the can down the road, and I don't think that's, you know, that's, that's never appropriate to do. It's especially not appropriate when we're talking about human beings who are trying to build a life here of safety and security. And as an organization that started in the 1880s to provide services for refugee and immigrant communities, they feel the bill goes against the values of the Commonwealth. The way in which Western Massachusetts in particular has been a community built through immigration. It's been a community that's been built by generations of different um, populations coming and making making themselves at home here. Um, and this is the next iteration of that. I don't believe that comes without without um, growing pain, but I know that the investment in that has a significant return. Now, Democratic Senator Vilas supports the funding in this bill. He believes it will help to crack the hammer on the growing crisis. But one Republican state representative disagrees. Representative Nick Boldega of Southwick is opposed to the funding, saying, quote, the bill does nothing but throw more taxpayer money at the problem without addressing the underlying policies that are incentivizing migrants to flood into the state. Reporting live in studio, Reagan Locri for Western Mass News. All right, Reagan, thank you.